Now there are two techniques of flossing. One is the spool method and the other one is the loop method. The technique is quite similar in both the cases. But if you remember two differences, that's it. The rest of the technique remains the same. Now the first difference is that in spool method, the indication is adults and teenagers, while in loop method, it is handicapped and mentally retarded patients. Also, in spool method, we have to keep the ends of the floss open, whereas a loop has to be formed by tying knots in case of loop method. Now the technique is very much similar from here, both in case of spool method and loop method. Around 18 to 24 inches of the floss has to be taken and it is round the middle finger several times. Then Hold 1 to 3 inches section of floss between your thumb and forefinger. This is the part you will be using to floss your teeth. Now what you have to do is slide the floss through the contact area between your teeth and make a slight rocking motion 8 to 10 times on each side of the teeth. That covers your loop and uh, spool method. It's very very easy.